What's going on, buddy? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. Looking forward to having fun with you guys today like we do every day. Hoping that you find something that you like. If you find something that you like, don't forget to slam the like button. It does help me a lot and I really do appreciate it. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Always got something new coming out for you. Love for you to be here when it happens. And we are checking this out. I have not played this game yet. I have checked out some of the streams from Funcom. A couple things here and there. So this is a first head experience just to check it out. Let you guys uh, you know, see what you and let me know what you think too. That's that's, that's kind of part of the fun of it. If you guys uh, while you're watching this video end up like wanting to pick up a copy of this game, check out the link down below. It's in the description. Let's go ahead and click a new game and see what it says. Uh, experience tactical games deals more damage. Stalkers return to health after combat. Stalk okay, we're going to try this out first. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not completely new to tactical games. I've played a little bit of XCOM, but let's find out the deal. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to lie to you. I'll start from here. The new video. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Somewhere east of the Ark. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Okay, so we, I am moving my mouse around for a camera angle locked on the guys. New location discovered, the metal bird. Okay, so I'm guessing... Nope. F to split them up. Okay, so they move together. Tab to change who's in the lead. Looks like we have a flashlight. And moving around. Okay, visually, I like how this looks. This looks like pretty cool, actually. Music is nice. There's a bird up there. Trust me, I'm not annoying. Shut the hell up. Want to see annoying? I can show you annoying. <laughs> What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that nine thousand times already. They like each other. You can tell. So, spacebar doesn't do anything for me. Shift just changes between the two of them. Okay, along with tab. Okay. Hold Q to see zone overview. So we we're trying to return to the Ark. That is our goal. Is there anything over here? Let's split up. Regroup. Okay, so that does that. I was wondering the flashlight. Is there control for that? Let's find out. Uh, gameplay controls. Flashlight on and off is left mouse button. Okay, we have inventory for eye, ambush, a space bar. So I, so this, he has a crossbow that is silent, trusted crossbow is silent and quite deadly. The only caveat is that can only hold one bolt at a time, making reloading during battle a chore confiscating, confiscated from a ghoul who was foolish enough to try and sneak into the Ark. Chronicler Ellie. Uh, here's a stinger. It's got crit damage. This is, okay. A basic pistol, quite, quite common zone weapon designs vary depending on the region they come from, which types of scrap they are constructed of. And he has a backpack. It's got mutations that are not available. And then you've got a scattergun, a raucous making, uh, raucous making hand cannon that can decimate an enemy up close, distant targets, not so much. And you also have a stinger as well, level two crits. Okay, so they both have crits on them. Okay, gotcha. Left click for Toronto flashlight. Okay. A little fork in the road. Oops, wrong button. I'm still used to pressing shift to sprint. <laughs> So when the flashlight's off, we walk slower. Jackpot. We got ourselves some scrap metal, Borman. This is worth a lot of Rare scrap. Times eight. Is there any other scrap over here? There is not. Scrap can be exchanged for weapons, consumables, and outfits in the Ark shop. The air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I 
I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's arc. Where there's arc, there's... Killing time for Skizzix and Treble. Look out! They're close, 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 close. Over there! Come, brother! I'm on that trail. Okay. Hide. And he doesn't hide, though. Okay, so they split up pretty much. So we get split up. Stay back, guys. Let's see if I can hide him behind a tree here. This is pretty cool. We can hide. Okay, so he's hiding. I cover hiding. Okay. Still don't see the things that we're talking. There it is right there, Marauder. Level one, okay, we can hide. Let's get out of his little range of seeing me, I guess. Hide. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so the next guy will bring him out of hiding now. There he is right there. There's Butcher level four. And can we ambush? Combat is turn-based. Each stalker gets two action points per turn. Some actions such as shooting, throwing, or sprinting will end your turn once used. We have not been spotted yet. So, Q to rotate camera. Gotcha. So, can he shoot him? Activating this unit will engage into combat. Ignoring it will allow you to keep hidden in the same location for later. It use can be spotted by enemies in combat if they get too close. So, if I activate you. Target's out of reach. So, how do we sh Okay, there's shoot. So, two is shoot. And fire at weapon. <laughs> now we can hide again. And let's ambush again. Low cover grants 25 to 20% bonus, or full cover grants 75% bonus. Blanking uh, cover position will cancel its defensive bonus. Okay, we can activate you again and do two and two again. He missed. Alright, so now we're gonna activate him and let's walk over here. Can I shoot after I walk? And he's dead. Stay down. Press F to regroup your nice. stalkers after combat. Never seen ghouls this far south before, right in our neighborhood. I don't Now like does he it. have stuff? He does. A broiler weapon mod collected. One additional critical damage, 50% in, in chance to burn enemies. Damage module. Ancient fire torch when attached to any weapon. This will give a chance of shooting flaming projectiles good against flesh enemies. Okay. We have to go to the Delta Workshop to upgrade weapon from there. Let's turn on our flashlight and find out what's over here. Some scrap. And I'm going to use Mr. Ducky, annoying guy. Let's see, is there anything? Investigate, okay. That's a... That's a... We saw one of these things once. Filled with zone dogs, right? Oof. The ancients sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. Okay, there's a little bit of lore for you. Is that an ancient there? Can we look at the ancient? He's pretty ancient. It doesn't look like there's much. I'm sure it has its borders here. Yeah, it looks like that's the case. There's the borderline there. Now, I wonder if they, you know, reward exploring some too. Like, 
Ooh, there have been some, like, some spots where there's going to be some scrap or something. You know, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. Okay, well, look, we're, we're, we're looking out here. Old tool scrap. Six scrap. We got 59 scrap now. That's good. Was it V to C or was it Q? Q to see where we need to go. Okay, let's head back over here some. And look around a little bit more just in case. I kind of like to see like what all is offered by the zone too. Fog of War is leaving as we continue to get closer. In water, you cannot walk in. Okay, that's pretty cool. And that's just a hiding spot. Okay. And that will lead back to where we just came from. Okay, cool. Pretty interesting so far. Visually, I, I do enjoy it. It looks good. Trees look pretty fascinatingly good. All right, so let's head to the Ark. Whoa, let's not. What do we have going on here? We got ourselves some ghouls. One of them looks like he ate a ghoul. We better get into ninja mode. Listen, turn off your flashlight. If we sneak by the water, they won't see us. So they want us to sneak by. Red Skulls. Enemies with a Red Skull are too high level for your team and will kill you. Okay. Avoid Red Skull enemies. Explore the zone to find encounters that match your team's level. So I don't see a Red Skull other than them just telling me that. So press to toggle sneak. No, 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 no. Okay. So yeah, I had the flashlight off already. So let's sneak this way and see if we can go around that end. We can't, so we have to go around this way. I will rip off their tiny Level 55. And beat their faces till they die. Faces till they're going to beat. No one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. Where are you? Ark don't even love stalkers. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty close to where we're supposed to be going. Okay, so I like how it shows their range. And this is the way we need to go. Okay, good. Kind of convenient. They're kind of inconvenient, but hey. Are we far enough away once we're across here? E to travel, okay. Okay, we're still trying to make it to the Ark, it looks like. That way is the way to return to... The Ark's up ahead. Home, sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. Okay. So here's okay. Here's some water. I'm gonna follow the edge some. It seems like it's a little bit safer now that we know that there's big enemies. I assume that we'll usually have the edge anyway. I wonder if, if walking in the water makes sounds that they can hear us with. Okay, can we go? This is the this does not look good. There's skulls, lots of them. Okay, there's a baddie up here. I think it was. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. If you are undetected, you can scope out enemy positions and kill isolated weak enemies using your silent weapons. This can tip the balance of a fight into your favor by reducing overall enemy numbers. Okay, well, here it goes. We've got two of us. I wish I could see them better, but that's part of it. Group. Crush 
Stay back. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna leave him back there and see if I can get that one to go by itself. Let's go over here. Can I hide over here? Doesn't look like they're moving. So I'm guessing they want me to do a sneak attack while he's still there. Um, I'm guessing it'd be better to do the level lower level guy. Okay, so it tells me about the quality of the cover, too. Doesn't look like they're moving, so let's do this. Level one, but there's a four and a six. Okay, I guess that's how much life they have. So let's try an ambush. Okay, I'm going to activate you. Let's try it. Sure. Bye-bye. Okay, so now the enemy heard me, but he didn't see me. So we're going to move him like right. Gonna move him right here. Can't stand on stairs. Okay, so we have limited movement possibilities here. Um, can I wait? What's this? Overwatch, hide. Can you hide right here? Okay, enemy's turn now. But there's no one else there. Or is there someone inside? Holy crap, that did a lot of damage. And then there's a butcher there, and he moves kind of fast. So I'll probably die here. That's interesting. So let's move over here. Do I have any chance of shooting this guy from this point? Out of range. Let's move you over to here. And then I can't shoot. No ammo and equipped weapons, so I have to reload. And then I can shoot him again. Okay. Let's try it. 25% missed. Okay. Wow. So now I, I'm probably going to die. No, he missed. Okay. And the butcher's coming, so I should be able to shoot him if, unless he hits me. He didn't. Okay, so is it this? Which guy's turn is it? It is wrong one. Let's see if we can go to him first and shoot this guy. Five damage, so he's dead. Okay. Okay, and let's see if we can reload. Let's try it again. Missed again. Figure 25% sucks, but now it's the end of the turn. Is there a self-heal? It won't matter now because he's dead. Sorry, because too much damage, they bleed out. Move close and use the medkit to save them within the indicated turns. Okay, so let's move next to him. And then, is there a med kit? Med kit. Heal. Shoot, reload, throw, overwatch. Heal. Revive ducks. No time to die. We have to keep Okay, fighting. so now he's loaded up. Let's get him it's over better. one. I have, oh my, do I have a, something to throw? Throw a grenade? Okay. That blocks his sight, possibly. Overwatch. So now we should be able to reload. Okay, I like how it made double checks it. Now, can we hide? What does Overwatch do? Take a reaction shot during the enemy. Let's hide. Dig down. Is that's fine? And then we can go over to this one. And I'm gonna have him hide as well, and just see what happens. So he, now he's overwatching again. Let's choose him and go over here. Ah, so 
So that's what Overwatch means. Okay. It's not the game. 25%, huh? Yeah, I figured I'd miss on that. So let's check. Okay, so they get a free shot on me. Let's get him in there and just freaking do it. Yeah! Critical shot. Yeah. Sweet. Wait nice. Leveled up when your stalker team levels up each mutant gains mutation mutation points. Mutation points can be used on like powerful combat combat mutations or to improve stalker stats such as health or movement range. New mutations are available. Press C to open the mutation menu. Okay. Mutations are either major, minor, or passive. Only one of each can be set in your loadout. Stat bonuses are permanent and are always applied regardless of loadout. Your loadout can be changed in the inventory at any time outside of combat. Okay, so what do you have here? Running gun. After using your second to action point, your body can trigger a burst of reserve stamina and allows you to perform an action afterwards. Useful for reaching enemies who are far away from the crew. Note this must be activated before you spend both action points. Okay, so what do we... Where, where's, where's my... It just it just tells me I can do one. I guess it, oh my levels it's based off my level. I think uh, I forget you, you permanently increase health by one. Nice Joker that costs four. Okay, so we have a cost associated with this stuff. Where is my actual oh, two <laughs> right there? Two points available. Okay, let's check out ducks. Let's check out ducks. Uh, enhanced critical chance allows you to pop the head of an enemy as easily as popping the bolts on Borman's back. The the boils on Borman's back. Wow. This wild behavior will cost you some accuracy. So 100% crit chance minus on accuracy. Disable organic enemies movements. And then this is health booster. Movement booster. I think what I... Can we do just like that or... You can help by, oh, these go by one by one. So let's do this one and see. Yes. So you got one more health duct. And then we'll try this one out too. Nice. Like how it does that to them. All right, so let's see here. Running gun. I want to do. Let's try running gun. Yeah. <laughs> does it tickle or does it hurt? That's what I want to know. So now they they got some beefy beefiness going on. Okay, so let's go ahead and regroup. Over here. I'm gonna change back to ducks oh, and let's go over here. What's this? Loot three scram. Okay, that was from the one guy that died. There were three of them here. I press tab. Sorry. Scrap. Hand grenade. We can stop sneaking now. So that's the flashlight. Pretty much as I'm running now. Boom box. A strange talking box that hisses at you like a snake when powered on. Sometimes, depending on where it's placed, it'll speak to you with beeps, whistles, or even faint voices. It includes a handy slot on the front for keeping things in. Nice. Look at this beauty. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button. <laughs> boom. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. Oh, there's a black market now, too. Okay. Outside of the Ark, I guess? Or is that just, like, is it something different than what we normally consider black market to be? Maybe, it's, maybe that's just, like, the market market. A chest? Yaper, this gas-powered cannon humorously named after the type of damage it has been known to deliver launches fat, chunky shells, but Yaper loses the subtly, it gains it back in power and knock back most enemies. Alright. I want the frying pan too. Can we take the frying pan? Apparently not. Okay, so that was pretty cool. We got some stuff out of there, some more scrap and some art an artifact. Artifact. So this gives us a reason really to explore a little bit too. Which way is the arc that way? Okay, so we're gonna go this way a little bit. Just see if there's anything around the corners. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't. It's just, it's like I, I like this feel. It has 
like some of the old school RPG feels to to me too. On top of like a tactical, you know, when it comes to fighting, the old school like RPGs were like turn based too. So, like you know, some of the uh, original you know gold box Dungeon Dragon stuff and all that stuff. It just it's good times. It's good times. With something sparkling, broken gun, weapon parts. Wow, that close to the arc. It must be fresh. Wonder what the skulls mean below their heads. Up there in the left left hand corner. Okay, where does this lead to? Doesn't say. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became <laughs> nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. Okay. That's pretty cool. The Ark is humanity's last outpost. A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one. With the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave. Because outside these walls lies the zone, the never ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone, and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot, and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, <laughs> a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. A lot of trust in the Elder. He's gonna become a bad. He's a bad guy. Watch. Okay. Well, I think that is the time we have for today. We'll watch this. A little intro coming into the arc. Sweet home. The elevators are Yep, ahead. that is the time we have for today. Hopefully you guys will like what you see. If you like what you see, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'll have a link to low, below to check out the game if you'd like to in the in the description below. So make sure you check that out if you like it. And um, yeah, thank you again. Thank you, Funcom, for putting this out. Uh, well, they're publishing it. But, uh, you know, and then all the good stuff. So anyhow, as always, thank you so very much. And you guys have a good night.